Item number SCP-512 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-512 is held within the Site-77 Safe Object Repository. It is to be shut at all times and testing during adverse weather conditions is forbidden. All outdoor testing proposals must be reviewed by Security Chief Anderson. Description. SCP-512 is a stainless steel black umbrella with a nylon canopy and polished ebony crook handle. Maximum radius of canopy when opened is 0.75 meters. Make and manufacture are unknown. A tape patch is visible on the canopy section. When open and pointed upward, SCP-512 exerts an upwards force in opposition to Earth's gravity, in a roughly dome-shaped area directly above itself with a cross-sectional area of roughly 1.77 meters squared. Precipitation and other objects will be suspended and deflected within this area of effect. SCP-512 has no effect when closed or when held at a horizontal angle. Despite SCP-512's efficacy against normal precipitation, it is inadvisable to use the object during severe weather. Through an as-of-yet unknown process, the item's anomalous effect causes the air above it to become extremely ionized. This interaction also causes electrical current to greatly increase in amperage while in direct contact with the item. This causes the threat of direct lightning strikes to become exceptionally dangerous to any individual holding SCP-512, as evidenced through the death of its original owner, as well as D-512-33. Additionally, Electrical current appears to travel across the surface of SCP-512, causing little to no damage to the item's structure. SCP-512 was recovered from a public park in Florida. Local emergency services have been summoned to evacuate the area due to reports of unusual lightning strikes. SCP-512 was discovered caught on a street lamp and fully opened, with evidence of several lightning strikes in the immediate area. Its handle was noted to be covered in ash. Foundation personnel intervened after local newspapers began reporting on SCP-512's anomalous properties. Addendum Testing Summary Upon recovery, SCP-512 underwent standard testing, through which its properties were determined. A range of items were held 4 meters above SCP-512 and then dropped, after which a mechanical apparatus would open SCP-512. Tested items include the following. One liter of purified water dumped from a standard bucket. One liter of orange juice from concentrate. Approximately one kilogram of loose feathers. One kilogram of ice cubes. The assorted contents of junior researcher Renfield's bagged lunch. A standard running shoe. A standard watermelon. SCP-1108. A 5.4 kilogram bowling ball. A 40 kg steel containment crate. Testing material slowed in descent approximately 0.5 seconds after SCP-512 opened, with the larger and less solid items coming to a stop approximately 0.35 meters from SCP-512 surface. All material will remain suspended in the air unless made to slide to one side or resume freefall. Liquids of particulate matter are weakly repelled from the center of the effect while more solid objects can be held in place with minor adjustments to SCP-512's angle. Addendum Experiment D-512-33 Testing Item D-Class Personnel Testing Procedure Object taken to Site-77 Outdoors Field for testing of the vertical distance of the anti-gravity effect. An unexpected severe storm occurred during testing, and the rain-repelling properties of SCP-512 coupled with exceptionally low pressure caused a suction effect in the region directly above the object. SCP-512 pulled a D-Class D-512-33, holding it upwards into the air and drifted on prevailing wind currents. D-512-33 was able to hold on to SCP-512 as it rapidly gained altitude. D-512-33 glided over Site-77 perimeter and into the surrounding area. It was observed that D-51233 quickly developed skill in altering angle of anti-gravity effect to allow for semi-controlled flight. A helicopter was launched to pursue object in D-51233. The object was recaptured following a lightning strike. D-51233's remains were not recovered.